Hello guys, welcome to Food Dojo. In today's video, I will be showing you guys the hotel we stayed in Kyoto. This hotel is located in the middle of the energetic Karamachi area. Surrounded by lots of restaurant options, nightlife spots, convenience stores, and transportation. Almost on Shijo Street, which is the main shopping street, and just a short walk to trains and major sightseeing spots like Nishiki Market is 5 minute walk, Wasaka Shrine is 16 minutes walk, and many more. I personally think it's a lot better than the Kyoto Station area, or Karasayama, which are less lively at night. The name of the hotel is Mitsui Garden Hotel Kyoto Karamachi. This is a hotel that just opened in September 2020, so it's fairly brand new. The popular point of this hotel is that you can participate in the morning work. The hotel is attached to a temple called Jukaiji, so you can experience the morning service of the Jado sect of Buddhism together and receive a special gasho. From the moment you enter the entrance, the soft Japanese scent will lift your mood for a trip to Kyoto. This is from Shoyo, a long-established incense shop in Kyoto. The lobby is full of Japanese tastes and is very calming. Many of the valuable historical artifacts from Jakaeji Temple are placed throughout the building. For example, the old wood used for the floor of the outer corridor of the Jakaeji Temple complex was used to make up the columns in the lobby. And wall art is created by combining decorations from Jakaeji Temple with ceramic reliefs. Not only are the wooden carvings decorative, but they also tell the Buddhist story of the turtle between the waves. At the moment, all necessary amenities are available in the lobby, including toothbrushes, razors, cotton swabs, and cotton pads for self-service. My room was on the fifth floor. The room numbers and the lighting in the hotel are all based on lanterns, so I felt the fusion of the hotel and the temple. There are five types of guest room categories, and this room in particular is a moderate twin. The rooms are compact yet stylish, with the modern Japanese vibe, designed with the concept of Kyoto and temples, so you can feel the temple culture and the randomized patterns on the shoji screens and an aesthetic touch. It was only a single bed, but it was a Hollywood twin with two beds connected, so it was spacious and comfy. Tissues, telephones, hotel information, and other items were placed on the table next to the bed. In the drawer next to the side table, the charger and notebook set were also provided. I was surprised that there was a sink inside the room, but it was surprisingly convenient. This hotel has a large public bath, so all rooms are shower only no bathtubs. But there were two types, a rain shower from above and a height adjustable removable hand shower. In the drawer beside the bed, an electric kettle teacups and glasses were inside. And two each of Sencha and Hajicha from Kyoto's long established tea outside Pido were prepared. No coffees though. On the second floor, there's a restaurant where we had breakfast. Sengo no Kyoto is a restaurant with a strong sense of Japanese style. It has been featured in the Michelin Guide and is the second branch of Fukuoka's Sengo no Aishuan outside of the prefecture. The hotel delivers a breakfast with a unique Japanese atmosphere, where you can enjoy the events of the year and the scenery of the four seasons in detail. The hotel orders brown rice from Tanba Kyoto and polish it every day at the restaurant by cooking in a hagama, which is a traditional kama pot designed for rice, cooking the rice will be plump and glossy. Also, you can ask to refill as much as you like. Breakfast is a gozen-style breakfast, which is a set meal of rice, a main dish, a side dish, pickles, and soup. You can choose from three types of main dishes. Every gozen comes with awakening sencha, steamed egg with buckwheat seeds, colorful hasen, and grilled fish of the day. With a fastidious focus on ingredients and flavor, each and every meal at Sangalono is carefully prepared to perfection. Experiencing Japan's rich food culture from breakfast. The public baths are on the same second floor. Open from 3 p.m. to 10 a.m. Designed to offer the deep relaxation for guests that only a temple hotel can provide. I really enjoyed a peaceful and calm moment in the public bath. As I mentioned at the start of the video, guests can experience the morning routine of the Jado sect, which is held every morning in the main hall of an ancient temple with a history of over 500 years. It is 500 yen and reservations can be made at the front desk upon check-in. However, if you do not want to pay or experience it, guests can simply visit after the routine for free. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to experience it, but I've heard good things about it, so make sure to try it if you stay at this hotel. Staying at this hotel was a really valuable and pleasant experience, 
So overall it was great. The staff were very welcoming and they were able to answer all our questions. Also they helped us reserve restaurant because many of them only accept phone reservations. Also there is a luggage delivery service for 300 yen to Mitsu Garden Hotel Kyoto Station. So it is convenient for those who use Kyoto Station to send their luggage before check-in or after check-out. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked today's video, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Also make sure to check out my other videos as well. Ciao! See you next time!